If you happen to be into Saturday markets, Sedgefield has got a treat for you because there are not one but three markets and each one of them has got a unique atmosphere and a unique vibe to it. There's the Wild Oats Farmers Market and right next to it is the Mosaic Outdoor Market and Village and then further down is the Scarab craft market. I'm going to just walk through all of them. The wild oats market for some reason closes at 12 so I have no idea why. It's mostly food and especially when holiday makers are around they might only get going at 12 o'clock so right before lunch they close. I don't know why. If anybody knows let me know down in the comments. They're all really really popular as you can see and they're all pet friendly as well so your dogs are welcome. Seating place. Food stores are really, really busy. Bit of everything. This side is more of the farm produce. It's a short walk to the mosaic village and outdoor market and that's very much about food as well that one is open a more reasonable time so it's open much later and this is the mosaic village and outdoor market it's got a bit more of a crafty kind of vibe but also a lot of food i've got to confess to having some pants like that Some of this food looks good. I wish you could smell it. I might come back for some of this. Oh, do you make this stuff? I do. Then. Beautiful. Each piece is individual. You know? That's what I really like to see, that stuff that is actually made here, it's not stuff that's bought in China and just resold. Also pet friendly, child friendly. Yeah. As you could smell this food, I think as if I was to eat, I would end up being enormous. Maybe I'll come back for a breakfast roll. Plenty of coffee. So from the Mosaic Market, it's just a short walk through the engine service station to the Scarab Art and Craft Village. Wine and gin tasting here. This is actually my favorite spot. This is a local craft brewery. It's actually open every day. So I'm gonna have a tasting tray here. 
And that's this one, it's uh, the light, eh? Blonde session, vice Irish red. Yes, sir. Cool, all right, thank you. It's only like half past nine, so. But it's never too early for beer. So this is the blonde. It's a very light, got slightly bitter, but got a very nice taste, no aftertaste at all. This one is the Session Ale. There's a whole lot of stuff there, but yeah, it's, it's a crisp, dry, with a light citrus flavor, apparently. Cheers. You can taste the hops. There's a very hoppy kind of flavor in this one. Also really, really nice. I'm not a big fan of Weiss beer. Of the three I've tasted so far, this is my least favorite. Lastly, the Irish Red Ale. You can see why it gets the name, the Irish Red Ale. Mm, that is nice. That is actually my new favorite. It is really, really nice. It's smooth. There's no bitterness, but it also feels quite light. A very, very nice beer. So, of the four, definitely the Irish Red Ale gets my vote. Now, I want to drink the rest of this one. Cheers. I thought it was like clothes and bags and stuff, but still interesting. Oh, you make these? Yeah, you I spin make it. everything? Yeah. Can I video? Yeah, you're welcome. And that's the catch. That's the best thing I've seen all day. So my impressions of the three markets, to be honest, this one gets my vote. There's some real original craft here. After that would be the Mosaic Village and then last of all the Wild Oats. Wild Oats I just found very pretentious. I think a lot of this stuff is overpriced. They call it organic, but it's not really organic. If you're in Sedgefield on a Saturday morning, I can well recommend visiting the markets. Between the three of them, there's sure to be something that will be interesting. Yes, parking is a little bit of a challenge. There are a lot of people on a nice day, but there is sufficient parking, so you'll find parking. There's something for everybody. There really is a little bit of everything. 